Scorpio, hi. So this is going to be a reading for the month of October 2023. And I'll do the reading for you and I'll close it off with a oracle card. And these are general readings. So they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out the link for that in the description box below if you want. Let's see Scorpio. are these Tukadas around for? I don't understand. Thank you. The overall energy for the reading, the Five of Swords. That's a little bit of a deceptive kind of an energy that's starting off the reading, but let's see what's going on. The Queen of Wands crossed by the Two of Pentacles here. You're questioning something. You're not questioning something. You're doubting something. Um... And it's in regards to another person. Now, I don't know what that is. Um, whether or not you're attracted to them, whether or not they're attracted to you, something something to that extent. I don't know. Or they miss you, or you miss them. I don't know. Something. Uh, in your focus, the Three of Wands, a lot of nothing happening. Just waiting, waiting around for something here. In the recent past, the Ten of Swords, something looks like it may have been closed off. So it's one of those, let's say, mm, we broke it off. And then somebody's still waiting for something to happen there. So, kind of looks a little bit like that. Um, the Wheel of Fortune in your strength, hoping that things might turn around, turn back around. In the immediate future, the Magician, trying to manifest something here. Uh, supporting this reading, the Death card. And while you may say, hey, that's my energy, yay. No, it has to do with whatever's going on here. It could be an ending to a situation here. I don't know. In the energy that surrounds you, and you may, you may not be aware of it, the chariot, pay closer attention to the universe. Um, it's sending you signs and all sorts of things. So if you're pretty caught up and stuck in the physical signs of whatever's going on, try to depart from that a little bit and play, pay attention outside of that too. Because things might point you out to something here uh, in your hopes and fears the devil now that's a toxic trait right there I don't know what kind of toxic trait we're talking about because it could be addiction obsession who knows um, is there a bug on me walking on my face I don't know um, for the potential outcome, the strength card. Having to maybe actually deal with the reality of what the hell is going on here. You know. Let's clarify. For the Five of Swords, you get the Knight of Wands, the Seven of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups. So this energy comes through as a little bit deceptive because I feel like someone's trying to... If, if this is a situation where someone said, we are done, and by that creating a wall, think of it as someone is trying to break through that wall. You know, I don't care what you say. I don't, I don't give a shit. I'm going to tear this wall down. I don't give a shit that you want this to be done. I don't. Mm. So that's someone's lack of acceptance over whatever the hell is going on here. Let me do the Queen of Wands. The Chariot, the Six of Swords, the Seven of Wands. There have been signs already um, of the wall before it was even put up. There have been signs that indicate somewhere that, hey, a wall is going to be built up here. I bought the bricks. Can you see the bricks? They're right here. I bought them. Look at them. You just didn't want to see the bricks. There have been signs, pointers to this prior to the wall being put up. So, let's do the Two of Pentacles. 
Oh, come on. For the Two of Pentacles, you get the Magician, the Queen of Swords, the Seven of Cups. I mean, you're kind of pointing me towards, you know, oh man, this is, this is very difficult because we're dealing with multiple energies at a time. So um, on one hand, so this may be a breakup of some sort or something like that. That's how I'm taking it for now. Um, and dealing with it, it's kind of like, okay, it's happening. It happened. What do I do now? You're in the place of what do I do now? Um, you're looking like, you know, logically, what would you do? Okay, let's move on. But energetically, you're still trying to break through that wall. You're not accepting what's going on. So that's why it's kind of like everything is happening on multiple levels here at the same time. Even though, you know, the practical, the logical way to deal with this would be, hmm, let's move on energetically speaking you're going the opposite of let's move on so you're kind of pulling at two different directions here the mind is telling you let's go this way the energies of what you feel like breaking through that wall are pushing you in the opposite direction because that's your lack of acceptance over whatever the hell is going on. Let me do the... And while that is going on, you're over there in the middle. What that's doing, if it keeps on going like that, it's going to keep you stuck. You're not going to go backwards. You're not going to go forward. You're going to stay where you're at. And that's where you're at with this three of wands in your focus. For the three of wands, you get the knight of pentacles, the eight of cups, the six of pentacles. You're starting to lean more in that direction of let's move on. Uh, but it's a very, very slow pace. So at least you're not there in the middle of stuck anymore, even though you may feel it as that, as, oh, no, I'm still stuck. Um, it looks like slowly, very slowly, you're starting to shift in a direction at least. So something is happening here. But you're not going to see it yet. You're not going to feel it yet. And I feel like by, you know, what's going to help you lean in the obvious direction, ultimately, is possibly finding things, people, situations, whatever it is you're dealing with along the way that resonate with you, that work with your energy, you know? B, go away, you don't work with my energy. Thank you. Uh, let's do the Ten of Swords in the recent past seven of swords two of pentacles three of cups <laughs> it's kind of coming through a little bit like um it does look like somebody left and somebody was left asking themselves what about w what you know like wh what what what's going on so as somebody was already showing signs and then as they actually cut this off the other person was left wondering what the hell is going on almost like they didn't have any clue that this was coming even though the signs were there so uh, what is that bird there is a bird that i'm hearing lately i haven't heard that sound before so i'm trying to look for that bird to see what the hell bird that is because it's i've heard the sound for like two three weeks now it's a new sound to me i haven't heard it here so for the wheel of fortune in your strength you get the hierophant the queen of pentacles the ace of pentacles yeah, there's a lot of healing that's coming up for you. There's a lot of self-care that's coming up for you if if you're willing to jump on this. Oh, oh I know that bird. It's actually a woodpecker. But it's making weird sounds. I haven't heard those sounds before. It's a big one. Too. and it's woodpecking in silence 
it has a red head, kind of a grayish belly, and a little bit of a darker bluish kind of back feathers. I gotta look it up because I knew at some point the name of it, but anyways. Um with a lot of healing and with a lot of self-care on this next chapter basically because you do want to take it by the looks of it um and with guidance from the universe on how to do that you'll be fine and i feel like you know that that's the direction that ultimately you're gonna take you're not gonna be stuck here for much longer trying to break walls and shit like that let's do the magician in the immediate future the four of pentacles the two of wands the five of wands but you gotta make it hard on yourself too right because that's what we do it's not gonna be a smooth transitioning into oh something happened oh i lost it completely within myself i don't know what the fuck is going on i don't know anything so why take the easy way and say hmm let's heal instead of hmm why the fuck would it, would they do that how how dare they do that Let's fight against that. So basically you're fighting against yourself here, against your own healing, um, with a lot of stubbornness too. So you're gonna be a little bit in this place of not necessarily stuck anymore, but fighting with yourself a lot about what the hell happened, where am I going, what am I doing, until you reach the conclusion of what the hell am I doing? Because ultimately I'm doing it to myself, you know? Um, but there's gonna be a lot of argument with self by the looks of it for the death card and the supportive energies the two of cups the ten of swords the two of swords look you're confused you're upset you're hurt i get it this is not an easy thing to deal with ultimately you know and feeling stuck yeah that's the number one thing and feeling like you don't want to accept the reality of what's going on yeah first thing on the list it's not easy dealing with this kind of situation. And I don't see you taking the easy way out in the sense of, okay, let me do my thing and heal. I see you doing it, but not meaning it. Because in, in the background of that, you're, you're still gonna wanna try to break that wall down and be like, I'm not accepting this, fuck that. So, ultimately you feel stuck. You're not stuck. You're moving. As a reassurance from the energies that I see here, you're moving. Very slow, but you're moving. Um, let's do the chariot for the energy that's hidden from you. The king of cups, the queen of cups, the king of pentacles. Look, you're looking for someone that matches you right matches your heart frequency matches you completely some partner in crime there for life right because that's what you're showing me here have you ever considered that maybe it's not this maybe they were in your life as you know part of that path towards whoever that is because you're giving me that energy of this is what i'm looking for and then i'm looking around here and i'm like i don't see this matching this at all so it almost feels like this is just paving the way towards that but you're not seeing it now and i know you're not seeing it now and you're not going to see it for a while but when you get to whoever this is that's when you'll be like oh okay so talk to me you know a few months years from now come back to this reading and say oh i get it for the devil in your hopes and fears you get the hangman, the nine of pentacles, the empress. Um, the more you sit on this without healing yourself and without paying attention to yourself and nurturing yourself and taking care of yourself, the more unhealthy it's going to get for you. You know, the more uh, you get stuck on this and possibly even create an obsession over this, the more unhealthy it's going to become for you. So, let's do the strength card in the potential outcome page of swords nine of swords king of swords you're gonna have to kick yourself a little you're gonna have to pull a little bit yourself out of bed out of whatever you need to do there's gonna be times where 
you may feel like mm, I'm just gonna sit in this confusion all my life and I'm just gonna get stuck and I'm just gonna stay here now you're gonna have to force yourself out of that at times and it's gonna be forceful it's gonna be like like one of those when you're just not in the mood you just want to sit on the couch all day not do shit and you know you have a lot of shit to do you know you're gonna have to okay let's do this so there's gonna be those times where you know and you're showing me that you're starting quite slow with a little bit of kick in the ass there and then it's like okay you know what let's do this we can do this so it's it's kind of coming from you the pushing is gonna have to come from you for for a little while here so let's see what the universe has to close it off the world card the four of cups the queen of swords you're upset about it i get it i get it you're upset you're not liking this ending of whatever cycle this is you're allowed to be upset by the way you're upset you don't have to do anything about it just feel it you're good you can feel whatever you want to feel here um the thing is you're not you're you're also kind of trying to not show it almost like i'm not gonna show that i'm affected by this that's not gonna help you out if you're upset be upset be honest with yourself that's the only person you should care about um what they think of you you not anybody else who gives a shit i mean you should about you <laughs> but um be upset if you want to be upset and don't hide it just be whatever the hell you want to be let's do the enchanted map oracle you get rescue number 16 You are always safe and secure and free to be yourself. Told you. Asking for help isn't easy for many successful people. However, that's what you need to do uh, to do now as you expand your life. If you find yourself troubled, you can expect help with whatever issue is at hand now. You need only ask and assistance will come your way. The most important support you can expect is from spirit get into a right relationship with the divine and you'll see how many you, you'll see that many conditions line up as if by magic to provide you with all the help you need ask and you will receive there is no need to fear safety is a place within and from my own experience ask but ask out loud especially to spirit to guides to whoever you got going around you ask out loud they can't wait for us to ask we just don't we think that if we ask in our minds they're they're gonna no ask out loud so that's what i have for you hope this helped and i'll see you next time